in today's video we're gonna be comparing the yolo box pro and the Atem mini pro maybe you're getting started into live streaming and you're wondering which device should you buy let's not take much time let's get right into it what's going on guys my name is sam live production tips and tools here and today i'm actually excited to compare these two devices now Full disclosure, I've actually received the YOLO Box Pro from YOLO Live for the purpose of actually reviewing. They're not telling me what to say. I give my 100% own opinion. I own the ATEM Mini Pro that I have actually purchased with my own money. So you can actually trust me that I'm going to be giving you the most honest opinions when it comes to these two devices. So I came up with seven points. Obviously, this could be more, but I just wanted to actually focus on those specific points that will differentiate these two devices and point number one is the switching and input capabilities i think both devices are fantastic they both give you hdmi inputs so the atem mini pro will actually give you four hdmi inputs and you have the ability to switch between all the four so you can connect up to four cameras and the yolo box pro actually is going to give you only three hdmi inputs However, it's actually give you an extra USB input, which means you can actually connect a webcam into the yellow box that gives you up to four inputs as well. So for this point, I think it's a tie. Next point is going to be the recording capabilities. Now, for you to be able to record on the ATEM Mini Pro, you're going to need an SSD, maybe for $100, $200, depending on the size that you're actually looking for. And it's actually doable. Now, for the Yolo Box Pro, you have the ability to record as well. But for this one, you're going to need an SD card. If you're using the ATEM Mini Pro to record, you cannot actually get the USB out for, let's say, if you were actually streaming using a software like OBS, you actually lose the usb or webcam out to the atm mini pro so it's either you record or you send the webcam out as for the yellow box pro you still have the ability to actually to be able to send your usb out to any streaming encoder if you're not streaming directly into the yellow box and at the same time you have the sd card option to be able to record the yellow box gives you more options when it comes to recording it's even cheaper to record on the yellow box pro so for this one i think the yellow box is actually a winner next point is gonna be the encoding now when it comes to encoding both devices actually can encode so you can use the ATEM Mini Pro to actually stream directly from the box and the Yellow Box Pro can still do the same thing. However, the Yellow Box Pro has a better software. It has the full streaming software built into it. On the Yellow Box, you can actually multi-stream like you can stream on multiple destinations and all that for free so for that reason i think the yellow box 1000 percent is actually a winner when it comes to encoding or the streaming engine capabilities now the next point is gonna be the portability both devices are actually portable the atem mini is super lightweight you can take it anywhere you want it's very small when it comes to using it, if you want to use it for live streaming, you're going to need an extra computer, obviously, to be able to run the software. Second, you're going to need some sort of monitors. You're going to need the monitor to be able to see what's going on to get the motive view or the program out. So those are things that you're going to need to have on the side. And that's also some extra cost that you're actually adding. However, for the Yellow Box Pro, <laughs> this is going to be awesome because the Yellow Box Pro has a built-in battery which means you can actually take it anywhere and you don't have to power it okay which is cool the atom mini doesn't have that and on the top of that the yellow box is actually a monitor on zone and it's running its own software so you don't need an extra monitor you don't need an extra computer you already have a portable device that can do everything without you having to add anything so for this 
1000% the yellow box is a winner. Next point is gonna be the software. Now, I already talked about it when it comes to the software part. I believe Blackmagic is really, really behind. I don't know if they don't care about their software. I think they do a great job with DaVinci Resolve for video editing. But when it comes to their switchers, I think they put their focus more on the hardware part. Their software is not really that great. It does the job for like basic stuff, you know, like macros and stuff like that. But this is not a software that's kind of ready to be used for live streaming to be able to live streaming with the atem mini pro you're gonna need to use a software like obs or streamlabs or any other streaming software even though you could still stream directly using the atem mini pro however software wise you won't really have that many choices on the other side the yellow box pro is actually going to give you a full live streaming software experience. You're gonna have the graphics overlays. You're gonna be able to stream on multiple platforms. You're gonna be able to have the multi view. You're gonna be able to like do everything. It's like OBS or StreamYard or any other streaming software kind of built into the switcher. And that's super, super awesome. Again, for the software part, I think the Yolo Box is 1000% a winner. Now, the next point is going to be the price. You can get the ATM Mini Pro for under $500. And for the Yellow Box Pro, you're going to have to spend over $1,000. So, obviously, the ATM Mini Pro is going to be a winner. However, before we declare the ATM Mini Pro to be the winner here, remember, for the ATM Mini Pro to be able to stream, you're going to need an extra computer. That's a must. So, it could be a laptop or anything that can run the ATM control software. Second, you're going to need some sort of monitor to be able to preview your cameras okay so that's gonna be some extra cost added to the atem mini pro however if you already have because most people already have computers and they may have their monitors i think the atem mini pro will be a great value because you already have all those things all you need is gonna be the atem mini pro to be able to stream the atem mini pro for price is actually a winner so looking at all the points that we actually discussed, which device is actually better? Which one should you buy? In my opinion, it's going to depend on what you do. If you think you're going to be doing a lot of mobile streaming or remote streaming, the Yellow Box is going to be 100% the device for you. Think about it. This is a monitor. You can use it as a streaming engine. You can use it as a software for streaming. You can even bring in guests remotely and you have an option to actually use a sim card which is cool that means if you are in a place where you don't have access to internet you can easily use your phone's sim card and that's gonna give you access to wi-fi which is cool on the other hand for the atem mini pro for you to be able to use it remotely is gonna be a hassle because you're gonna bring in an extra monitor you're gonna bring in an extra ssd drive for recording if you want to record you have to bring in some sort of power source because it doesn't have any sort of built-in battery and on the top of that you're gonna need a computer on the side it could be a laptop or any other computer to be able to use it so that's gonna be a hassle i've actually seen some people who invest in both the yellow box pro and the atem mini pro you can use the atem mini pro as a switcher and send the hdmi out into the yellow box pro and actually use it as an encoder that's gonna give you a seven eight impulse kind of setup that would be dope but other than that guys if you want to see me explaining why the yolo box pro represents the future of live streaming make sure you actually check out the video linked at the end and in my description and i'll see you on my next video take care